Whoops, I've come up here by mistake. Do you know what? I don't think I'm allowed up here. Oh God, Caroline, you numpty. Oh, I am actually going off road now. there was a boy who lived here in Stony Middleton um, called Ronald and there was a girl he was betrothed to who lived in Eam and they were madly in love and they would meet up constantly because it's not far they would walk up and meet so they realized that that's not going to be safe for them to meet up in the village anymore so they met up at this secret location one day she just stopped coming to meet him and every day so that was in April and then every day he went to their meeting place and hoped that she would be there every single day. And, uh, and then he was actually recorded as one of the first people to go into the village once it was opened up again at the end of that year in 1966, uh, 19, in 1666. And unfortunately she had died in the April. That was a sad story, wasn't it? Derwent Cottage, Derwent House. Now we're looking for the, oh, I th this is the church here. And you can see the church. Ian Parish Church. Should we have a look? Just stop here. Stay with me. There we go. I just left my bike on. Right. Hawks for family. Oh, I think I'm just going to go in here and have a look. Oh, yeah. Rose Cottage. Okay, so here, nine members of the Thorpe family lived here. They all died. That's sad. And then, Plague Cottage. So George Vickers is the first plague victim. He died on the 7th of September, 1965. So Mary alone survived but lost 13 relatives. Right. Then I want to show you this place here. This is Eam Hall. So this is the hall that was built six years after the plague. Yeah. 17th century. Can't go in right now. I think most places are closed with the virus. Oh, look, guys. Do you know what else there is here? <laughs> so you can come here and go in the stocks. What do you think? Look at that with my bike there. <laughs> That's Merrill Cottage. Furnace House. There's lots of um, placards everywhere so you can have a look and find out about the residents. And There's a boundary stone that I want to see but I have to stop and walk. So I, I don't know because I've got a lot of stuff on my bike. I'm not sure if I... <laughs> I'm being totally lazy. That's totally a uh, <laughs> an excuse. Okay, can't look at my sat nav because I have nowhere to look at my sat nav. So we have to kind of guess the way. So this is the one woman who lost her children and her husband, but she survived. Shame. She had to bury everybody in a week. Oh, it's a poor, poor woman. Riley Lane. Riley Lake, because it's the Riley, Riley's Graves. Town head in. That's from the 1600s. 1600s, wow. So that was before. 
So you're seeing a lot of these buildings would have been the same. So that's a chapel, or was a chapel. What's that? Riley Back Lane, that's the road I need. Stri no, this is the one I want to go. Strictly note, oh. Whoops, I've come up here by mistake. Yeesh, do you know what? I don't think I'm allowed up here. This is nuts, if I fall up here, I'm stuck. There's no one here. Is this a path? Oh God, Caroline, I'm numpty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Caroline, you plonker. So, Riley Croft. Top Riley. I don't even know what that means. Riley House. Fuck. And I'm on a slope. This was very silly of me. So they're in the field down there. Oh shit, sorry. Oh, for God's sake, Caroline, what are you up to now? I don't actually think I'm allowed on here. I don't know if I'm allowed. Oh, it's here. This is where they are. Now, that was a stupid thing to do, so don't do that. Don't come up here on your bikes. There's the Riley Graves. Beautiful view. But I've now got to try and find a way to turn around. So that, that's the grave site. Are we allowed in there? I don't think so. Oh, no, we can, we can, we can. Okay. Oh, we're going to... <laughs> Electric fence, be careful. <laughs> oh, okay, made it. So this is the memory of the Hancock family victims of the plague. And here are the graves. This is Alice. Oh, shame. So yeah, the poor woman had to bury everybody in a week. And they have this tiny little graveyard up here on the hill. Okay, so that was my trip out to Eam. You can see the poor Hancock graves up there. Um, here's my bike. I still have to turn around and try and get back. It's a beautiful village. It's very well preserved though. The houses, uh, I mean, it's, I know there are new houses and buildings as well, but it's pretty much as it would have been in those days, I feel. Um, you really get the, the feel of the place. It's definitely worth a visit if you're in this area. I did want to go to the boundary stone where they put the vinegar in. So it's like, a, it's a stone and it's got a, um, like a hole in where they put the, the money and they put vinegar in to disinfect it. So that's the way they would get trade in and out of the town. I want to show you that. Um, yeah, the museum would have been fun and all of that. Well, not fun. It's, it's, it's actually really depressing and really scary, but we're quite lucky in that the virus isn't as fatal. It isn't as deadly as the plague. Not by a long time. I've got to try and make my way back. So I am actually on a hill and it is... It, uh, I've got to find a way to turn around. Right, do I just keep going until I find somewhere? No, let's try and turn around here. Okay, I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna turn around, guys. Because I'm on a slope. Do you know what, I might ask this man. Oh, what amazing timing. Although, not great for women. Okay, let go of the brakes, that would help Caroline. Oh, you're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it. Yay, I did it. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, woo, did it! <laughs> I've now fogged up because I've got heavy breathing. Oop. Right, watch out for the gravel. Use your engine to slow down, Caroline. Slow it, slow it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you could see the roads. There you go, mud and leaves, potholes. Oh, I'm sure they don't get many Harleys up here. <laughs> I'm sure most Harley riders aren't as um, energetically wrong. Obviously not the bike, 
that you want to have for off-roading. Holy crap, I'm just trying to put it in neutral on the other side now. I'm in such a flummox. Okay, keep my feet out. Don't ride over the people. Don't drop your bike. All right. We made it. Sort of, hang on, don't count our chickens. I feel like I've forgotten something. Why do I feel like I've forgotten something? Slow it down. Oh, shitting hell, what the fuck? Is this a one-way street? Oh, fuck, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Holy shit, Caroline. I've just been driving on the wrong side of the road. And I was like, what's a car doing? And it was totally me. I went into European mode. That's so bad. I can't believe I just did that. What is up with me today? Oh, I'm literally cringing. I want to get away from this car. What was I thinking? And I was literally like, what the car? Why is that car coming at me? Wow. <laughs>